My name is Olivia Delamar, I am 20 years old and I am an Integrated Pest Management Officer at Green Camel. Green Camel is a high-tech glass house located in Cobbity. We grow tomatoes and cucumbers organically. My role is Integrated Pest Management, otherwise known as IPM. IPM involves a lot of different ways of controlling pests and disease rather than the conventional, just chemical spraying. So it involves a lot of monitoring for pests, watching numbers, as well as doing organic sprays and releasing beneficial bugs to control the bugs that we do have. So beneficial bugs are bugs that are bred in a controlled environment and they are bugs that control the bugs that we try to get rid of, so the pests within the crop. So they come to us packaged either on cards or in vials or in bottles. We release it into the crop and then they go ahead and they eat, uh, parasitize, lay eggs in or whatever they do to the pests that we have in the crop. So my week involves a lot of going through the crop, seeing what's going on. I'm looking for anything unusual that could uh, tell me that there's a pest or a disease that's affecting the crop. It's called monitoring. We go through the crop and look for all of that sort of stuff. We also have sticky traps that we have a look at that shows any things like white fly or thrips or anything that might affect the crop. Uh, so we do trap counts, we do monitoring. I control all of the sprays to make sure the sprays go on and that the spray patterns are correct. In organics, it's really important to see that the sprays are being done correctly because we don't have anything strong like conventional. So I started in agriculture at a very young age because my whole family was involved in it. As I got older and I got into high school, I started studying agriculture in high school. By age 17 or 16, when I got into year 11 and 12, I started studying a, a certificate two in agriculture in a class called Primary Industries. When I left high school, I was looking for jobs in agriculture and the more people I spoke to, the more opportunities came up. And this opportunity for a high tech, glass house in harvesting came up at Green Camel. So I came in, I had a look around the site and they hired me on the spot. So from there, I started harvesting for a few months and then, it, and then I moved into IPM. So where I work in Green Camel, it's actually very common to find people who didn't have an agricultural or horticultural background uh, when they started. So when I came in here, I had no experience in horticulture. I was very much animal based, but I came into horticulture with an open mind. And as I started working and I started asking questions, all of these opportunities started opening up for me. I love working in a horticulture because you're really working in nature and you're watching, especially in organic horticulture, you're watching how nature fights nature within our beneficial bugs, within our natural pesticides. So I work with about 50 people in the crop in Green Camel. So there's crop workers and then there's growers, IPM and so on and so forth. So I started as a harvester, which is a crop worker. And every single one of us are given the opportunity to move up and go into our different roles. So I moved from harvesting into integrated pest management. And then from here, I'm also moving into nutrition and the irrigation system. So when I started in integrated pest management, I did a lot of on the job training, especially in something like a massive organic glass house, which is very new to the industry. There wasn't actually any courses that I could take. So I learned all of my stuff on ground. I learned how to identify bugs. I learned how to identify pests, disease, anything that might be different in the crop. And the big part of this job is always learning. You're always looking for something new and different and how to identify it and how to control it. Getting into horticulture doesn't really require that much training. A lot of training is on site for each individual site because everything changes so dramatically. A few things that you can get that might help you along are things like your chemical certificate so that you can handle any sort of chemicals or things like forklifts, which are commonly used on site. So as soon as I started working in horticulture, I was obsessed. I started working in fruit growing and I just became obsessed with houseplants at home. So a work-life balance for me never really works because it is my life, just plants all the time. And it's such a beautiful environment to work in. Working with plants all the time is really great for you and it's really great for your mental health. So a lot of misconceptions in horticulture is that it's very labor intensive, you're just picking, you're just weeding, and that you don't really see anything from the crop. But horticulture is a lot more involved than that. We have crop workers in here that are twisting, desuckering, taking care of the plants. And what I do, you can actually see every stage of the plant and what it does. Rather than just coming in, you're picking a few things and you're leaving again. You really get invested into the crop. 
Another misconception in horticulture is that it's always long days and it's always hard work. There are a lot of opportunities out there where you have a great work-life balance. I work 6.30 to 2.30. My afternoons are completely free and it's like that all season round. I really love horticulture because I really love working in nature and it's something that you can see directly affects the world. So horticulture, it's in place to feed people. You are feeding the masses and you never really realise it until you see the amount of fruit that comes off the crop. What I do in integrated pest management is at the very start of the train. It's making sure that those plants are healthy and ready to produce to get that fruit out to the masses. And you feed so many people and working in sustainable and organic horticulture is even more special because you're really doing something for how the world's going to end up. I think horticulture is an excellent career path. It's something that you can really invest yourself in and it's something that you can really see what your work does. You're not putting something somewhere and hoping it does something. When I'm in the crop and I'm controlling the pest and disease, I can see what I'm doing and I can see that it makes crops healthier and more productive. I love horticulture because my career can grow with the plants and my job isn't going anywhere. There is always a need for people in horticulture and there's always a need for people in sustainable horticulture. To get into horticulture, you don't need any background in agriculture or in horticulture. If it's something that you want to pursue, just go for it. Get in the crops, work hard and ask questions and so many opportunities will open up for you.